All right, guys. Um, today we're gonna be working on the axle on the white truck. Um, it's been having some steering problems lately. The Like it wanders across the road and I know my steering gearbox is good because I bought a redhead gearbox three years ago, less than 10,000 miles ago. So it's got, it's, it's pretty solid. Um, so we're gonna replace all the tie rods and the ball joints because I did like the little tire test where you put something under the tire, you lift it, or you like, yeah, you do a little lifty boy on there and then it's, uh, you'll see that, you'll see the movement in the ball joint itself. So did that a while ago in the parking lot. Um, and so yeah, this video is coming to you about halfway through the project because I was stupid and didn't film it. Uh, I got a little bit of time lapse going on. Um, so you'll see some of that. I missed a lot of the paint, but we'll start from here and there's still quite a bit of work to be done. So yeah. <laughs> These uh, tie rods. So these are your outer tie. This is your outer tie rod, and this one's your outer tie rod. A little coupling for them. Um, this is your inner tie rod, and your inner tie rod here. Um, and then I got new uh, ball joints. TTX from Mevo Tech, Mevo Tech, whatever the company is. Um, these guys. Those dudes right there. Mmm, fancy. Um, and that's what all these people saw. Uh, the reason I went through it with these, a lot of people do the Moog um, ball joints and such. The Moog ball joints, which are good ball joints from what I've heard. Um, but that's what was in here already. Um, I had seen these dudes posted on some forums and Facebook posts, and I was like, I want to try those. Those look very good. From what I understand, they're fairly similar to the Moog, though, on like steel on steel construction and all this, all the stuff you want in a heavy duty truck. Um, but yeah, so I I, re I wanted these, and then I was just like, well, we'll just go same brand for everything, right? Might as well. So got the TTX ball joints, all four uppers and lowers. Um, they come with all the new hardware, and I think this black ring here is for pressing it in, which is kind of cool. It's a pretty cool snap ring too. Different for sure. A um, couple of different grease cirques it looks like. We'll see when we open these to install it. I don't want to open it now because I will lose everything because that's what I do. Um, yeah, these are also the same brand. Um, and then I was, I had some leaking out of the side of my axle, which well now it's not leaking. It's pretty. So this is after paint. Um, it's not pretty, it's not perfect, but it is definitely much nicer than it was for sure. Um, then I did the caliper brackets as well as what the knuck knuckles, the, those things. So it should look pretty good. Um, yeah, I just stuffed a rag in the ends of these when we're painting, taped up the, where the ball joints go. So it should be good. But I was having some leaking out of this side of the axle, like it was just coming out of here, whoop, and kind of leaking everywhere. So I knew that the seal inside of here, where the axle actually comes into the differential, was bad because the fluid was leaking out of there. 
boom, through there. So there's, that seal is bad. And that's actually right here. This thing is all wonky. Yeah, look at that, that's, that's no good anymore. So this is leaking, so that's bad. Um, these always break on these F-250s. This little ring will sit right here and just be there. <laughs> and people are like, oh, what's that about? They just come off, so. Probably every single F-250 I've ever seen has this thing just dangling. Um, but this thing's pretty pretty done, ton, done as well. It's pretty wonky. And, yeah, look at that gap in there. So, got a new one. Boom. OEM from Ford Motorcraft. Um, same thing. This is that inner seal. Where do I have it? Right here, covered in dust. That's probably not good. But... That's the inner seal I was talking about right by the differential. Good to go. And then this is the dust seal, which actually goes, this actually goes at the end of the drive shaft. So it's gonna go right here, press into there. Although I'm not sure which way, I will find out. Yeah, I'll put a link to all these things in the description for you guys. Boom, boom, boom. All right, so one other thing you're gonna need is a special tool to press these on to here, onto this guy, because they like press up on here. Um, the special tool from Ford, the special tool from Ford is like $150, I wanna say, um, but you can use this contraption here. So what this is, is a inch and a quarter um, pipe with a lid or a cap, I guess, um, and then a flange. The only problem with this flange is it comes in like a four inch diameter and this thing's like, I wanna say three and three sixteenths. So I just, that's what all this dust is from. Strap the grinder to the table and just ground it down. So now she'll fit in there all purdy. All right, well, it's a new day. These things have turned out incredibly nice yep so it's time to start assembling things um, first thing I'm gonna do is mess with this axle so uh, yesterday I did this one slam this on made sure this fancy tool I made worked and it does so I'm gonna clean this up I mean I don't know acetone is probably fine there's gonna be dirt in there eventually anyway um, got new seals for this we'll put those in later but yeah, I'm going to work on taking this one off um, and putting the new one on. So basically, to get this off, all you're going to have to do is place this something like this. If you have a vise, it's much better. And you're going to have to beat it off from this side. You're going to take a hammer and hit it here until it slides off. So yeah, not too hard, but a little, a little time consuming. But we'll get to it. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that. Then we'll put the seals in the axle. Yeah, and then I think I'm going to hang the axle as is because it's much easier to pick up without a diff in there, without all the other stuff on there. So get, get another person here with me. We'll pick this thing up, put it in the truck out there, and everything should be good. I should be able to assemble everything else on the truck. So, yeah, way easier to move like that. It weighs like that. It probably weighs a third of its real weight. Eh, maybe a little less than that, but it's substantially lighter this way. So yeah, I'm gonna get to taking this off and yep, putting everything back, putting everything back together. All right, so here's the old one, a little smushed. These are all parts for it. So this this ring's supposed to be inside of there. This thing always breaks off, so. Yep, that just slides on here on this race. This is a little thrust washer. It's supposed to be there for the axle. Uh, I'll clean all this up. Yeah, we got to get this one off too. I didn't even see that. Get that guy off. Um, but yeah, I'll clean all this up and then we'll install this here in a minute. All right, so here's our new seal. Looks pretty good. This is the part number from Ford. Y'all care? Um, yeah, so this has that little ring, not broken off, all nice. So this should work much better. Um, 
Yeah, so this is the tool I was showing you last night. You gotta shave all the stuff off, or all the edge of this off, so it'll fit in there nicely. And yeah, and then you just slide this this way. So this flat side towards you, or outside, I guess. And then line it up on the axle whenever I have two hands. Boom. You take the special tool. Put it in there, and it kind of aligns it like that. And then you'll just smack this out of it. Bop, bop, bop. Um, if you had a vice, if you had a vice, obviously way easier. Uh, what I did last night for the other axle was made sure that the, it was like that, where that knuckle is like against my table. And then I can just beat this really good, and it'll go on there. Um, and then it kind of just stops when it's far enough on. You don't really have to worry about going too far. I didn't think this one was all the way on right away because there's like a little lip right here. So I was like, but it just, I guess that's as far as it goes on. So it just stops when it's at the right spot. So don't have to worry about it too much. Just gonna whack this on now. It takes a little bit because I don't have a vise, you know, because I don't have simple tools for some reason. All right, so there she is, all installed. There's a, there is a little lip here. So, but I think that's also helped right there because this has like, yeah, so that's how that's going to work. Should be, should be good. Hopefully this axle, axle stops leaking. That's not the reason they would leak, but this keeps stuff from getting into your wheel bearing, especially if you have uh, locking, like auto air locking four wheel drive. This will help with the sealing of that as well. So, yep. Uh, I guess next, I'm going to pull this diff cover off. Hopefully without scratching it too bad. And then we'll install those inner, those inner uh, seals. So, yeah, that's next. Okay, so there's a couple different seals you can have. This is, I guess, the older style, um, at least for Ford. So it's like got this weird flange thing, and then your seal, and then this is the new style, for Ford at least, again, I don't know, GM or Dodge or whatever is different, but um, yeah, so they look a lot different, They're tall, you know what I mean, like it's smaller, so uh, this one, usually, usually this side is like towards the diff. Um, but I went and talked to the rep at Ford, and they said to put this side towards the diff, this side towards the axle, so just like that in there, and then opposite on that side. So that's what we're going to do. Never pressed these in before, so we're going to give this a shot. So what I'm going to do is just pop this the right way. Well, clean it off first, I guess, since it's all greasy. In here this way, and then so I'm just going to use this <clears throat> um, this piece from our ball joint kit that our ball joint removal kit that I got from O'Reilly. And then I'll put this flange on here, just like so, and then I'll come through this side of the axle, just come this way, whoop, with. A rod that I'll hit this with and it should press it in there okay all right okay so it was pretty easy all I used was the ball joint tool from O'Reilly just set it up like so put this side on the seal boom and then all this is a solid pipe for a jack that came with the other truck that I have for some reason it's just in there but this things what three and a half four feet tall maybe um, just slid it all the way through it's pretty solid and I was just able to smack this part and push it right in there so you can see you can see how it's supposed to be boom should be good now we should be able to Slide the axle right through, boom, boom. But yeah, I think now we're ready to 
Throw this thing in the truck over there. Finally give us some wheels back. This thing's just been chilling on jack stands. Um, with the jack stands, I just put them right before the axle mounts here. This says I don't have any jack stands high enough to put on the frame, but yeah, not too, not too hard to do, honestly. So. All right, so for the tie rods, putting the new ones in, I'm just going to measure this one to that side. Same with this um, to get like a rough, a rough size that's supposed to be, and then I'll put the other one there. That way, I can drive it to the alignment shop, and it should be okay. Um, yeah, and then we'll press in the ball joints and the knuckles, um, and then we should be good. Alright, so these are our hubs with our new ball joints in there. They're greased. I put these grease fittings on there. Hopefully these don't hit the, the U-joint that's going to be in there, but we'll see. So the plan is we're going to put this in there empty with nothing in. We got the diff under the rag up there. Um, the races for it are in the freezer, so they'll be small when we put them in. Yeah, I guess we're just going to put this thing in now. I have a helper today. Slash film. Editor, not editor. <laughs> Film guy? Oh, he's not a camera guy. All right. Dude, it looks so ridiculous on the camera. It's just, yeah. like, just look at it. It's a little crooked. Like the truck. Oh, yeah, yeah that is. Insane. <laughs> oh, my thumb. I might have broke it, dude. It Can might be broken. Yeah. It might just be a hack. Oh, she's in. That was fucking super easy. She's in, baby. That was super easy. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna film you put this sealant on. Oh, thanks. We're not even putting sealant on yet. Oh. I gotta put a dip in still. Oh. I'm so sorry. Sorry I do these things to you. Alright. Prepped. Burning races? Fresh out of the freezer, baby. Why do you put them in the freezer? <laughs> uh, so they shrink a little. Now, although I don't know if a regular freezer does anything worth mentioning, but um, yeah, we'll just throw this dip in quick. Go seal her up. Call it a day. They are cold. <laughs> Jeez. This one's marked gear for gear side. Or it's marked G, not even gear. <laughs> Alright. This whole thing should, in theory, just kind of pop in there. Can you grab that with the bolts? Yeah. And that one? Uh, if you don't mix them up. Yeah, it's right. <laughs> no, this should be left hand, this will be right hand. Okay.
Which one was this? Left. This side? That was left hand. shouldn't put this in with an impact, I feel like. A bearing race? I mean, that... I don't know. Do it should be in there. Yeah, should be in there. How many clicks on the impact you recommend? Ooh! Ooh! Huh? How many clicks? One or two of the good It depends on what you want. Yeah, look at Dugas. We'll do like a little star pattern, you know, since they're already tight. Oh, that one's way tight. Okay. Now, seal it. Clean this bad boy off a little. Alright. Some brake clean? Clean our brakes. Walmart brand brake clean. Can't afford anything else. <coughs> Some 90 minute gasket maker, you know? We ain't got time to wait for no cure times. I won't even wait 90 minutes. I feel like it will. We are slowing down for some reason. Yeah, dude, it's getting bad. We had that conversation and really trying. Like you have to have three minutes of watch time. Everybody just makes like a three minute video. That's why mm -hmm. all the Facebook videos you watch are like super drawn out. Like yeah. stupid. They're like Get to the fucking point. Yeah. Yeah. That's stupid. But that's why, because they gotta watch three minutes of video. don't have another U-Bolt. Uh oh. Sorry, that's something I can put on it after everything's on. There's three. There's three holding it. That's fine. It's be a little unsafe to drive. A little bit. A lot of bit. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let's get a new one. I got one. Go to what? I feel like those were on there a little tight.
guys. The alignment turned out great. Um, I had it pretty close uh, to align it at the house enough to drive to the alignment shop. All I did was tape a broomstick um, across each wheel and then just measured from front to back or from side to side and then just got the same measurement pretty close as I could um, on those two so that I wouldn't tear up my tires. I feel like you'd be alright anyway even if you, I mean you're going to want it close obviously but driving at a few miles to the alignment shop shouldn't be a problem. So, um, Yeah, got it aligned today. The guy said that the ball joints um, are going to be tight for the next 10,000 miles roughly. So it's going to kind of steer where it was last put and then because the steering's a little loose in trucks anyway. So he said after 10,000 miles it should be pretty good as far as going where you need it to go instead of it trying to do whatever it wants. So, so that'll be fun. But yeah, overall, not really that hard to do. Um, the pickle fork helped a lot with getting rid, of, get taking off the tie rods. Um, don't know if you'd be able. To, I mean, I guess you could just hit it with a hammer really hard. But uh, I was afraid of hitting other things because uh, I do that. I hit my thumb. And it, it hurts a lot now. So pickle fork for that. Took them right out, um, and then a ball joint press to put in the ball joints and take off the ball joints. Pretty easy, pretty easy process. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys found something good in this video that will help you out. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, I'll try to answer as many questions as I can. Um, yeah, see you guys in the next one.